Well hello and welcome back to another video. Now this video right here is another ranking video, it's another tier list video. Um, these are pretty fun to do. As a pyroman in TF2, I'm going to be ranking every TF2 weapon there is in the game. Does not include any all class weapons apart from the shotgun which is, it is multi class to be fair so it, it gets away with it. Without further ado, let's just, let's just jump into it, okay? And obviously because I'm a pyromane, um, everything I say is fact. Okay, so we're going to be ranking our weapons from POG to never use. Let's see where we go. So for, first off, we'll start off with the Extinguisher. Now the Extinguisher is a weapon that I've, uh, I'm a bit conflicted on because on one hand, never use the normal version at all. But on the other hand, I use my Australian version quite a bit and it's actually very fun to use. If you get that puff and then you smack them and they just die instantly, I think it's pretty good. That's going into good stuff, in my opinion, which is fact, of course. Uh, next, we've got the Back Scratcher. Now, originally, I did sleep on the Back Scratcher. I never used it whatsoever, but since then, it's actually risen through the ranks, and I actually think it's a pretty good, pretty good weapon. Um, I don't think it's in, that's the good stuff quite yet. I need to use it a bit more. I need to, like, you know, fully feel it out. But I do think it's, it's in the running, so I'm going to stick it okay, yeah, because it's pretty decent. But it's, be it's better than decent, you know what I'm saying? Okay, the back burner. Now, back in the early days of TF2, you know, back in 2013 when I started playing, um, and I got the back burner, I, I, I liked it. The, I like, I really like the design of it, the little face on the front, I think it's a very nice feature. One I got with the antlers, I thought it was so sick, but I just don't use the weapon enough to put it in pog, or that's the good stuff, really. Like, it, it's a good ambush weapon, but I never really ambush people as pyro. So I'm, I'm probably gonna make a video playing with each of the flamethrowers, um, sometime soon. For now, the backburn is indecent, but I do, I hate playing against someone with a backburn who just gets behind you because your you, your life's in it. Your life's your life's ended, right? And I like to play pyro as a support pyro. So I like to reflect my, I like to extinguish my teammates. And you you can do that with a big with the backburner, but it costs a lot of ammo to do so, and I don't really like that. I also like reflecting reflecting projectiles. I think that's pretty fun. So for now, the back burner's in decent. If I play with it a bit more, it could go up. Aha! Okay, so here we have the Degreaser, one of my favorite flamethrowers in the game. Instant pog tier. If you've watched any of my videos recently, and I've been playing Pyro, you may see that I use the Degreaser. That, that's because the Degreaser is my favorite flamethrower. I have Neil Degreaser Tyson, which I'm trying to think of a new name for. So if you have any name suggestions, stick them in the comments. But I think the Degreaser is the best flamethrower in the game personally. It's a direct upgrade from the standard flamethrower. Um, afterburn damage does a bit less, that's completely fine. I just love the degreaser. That fast weapon switch you now basically nullifies the extinguisher's slow switch speed. It's, it's great. I'm a, I'm a big fan of using the uh, degreaser. I think it's the best flamethrower in the game. So there's that. Okay the detonator. Now in the right hands I'm sure the detonator can be an amazing weapon but for me I hardly use it. Realistically, I just don't like the detonator. It's not for me. Uh, much more of a, you know, a skilled player who uses the scorch shot. You know how it is. Yep. Yep. That's me. But yeah, I just hardly use it, so I can't really give an opinion on it. So the Dragon's Fury, once again, hardly use it. I don't think I've used it since unlocking it. Well, I've used it once, actually. But since unlocking it in the contract, actually, I'm just going to move this, move it down to never used because I never use it. So I can't give an opinion on it. Same with the fire axe, I never use it. So yeah, I just never use those weapons. So I don't really feel like I should be, uh, you know, giving my opinions on them because I just never use them because I've just got better things to use, really. The stock flamethrower, that's the good stuff. Right there. Stock flamethrower, that's the good stuff. It's basically a degreaser without the. the the switch speed and does a bit more on afterburn. That's pretty good, but I do think the degreaser is a direct upgrade, so that's why the flamethrower is on the good stuff, because it is the good stuff. It's a really good weapon. I would, I sometimes use it. I have my own loadout, which instead of a greaser, has a flamethrower, because I like the flamethrower, it's cool. And I like the design of it, very nice. Okay, the flare gun. It's alright. It's alright. I'm a scorch shot kind of guy, so the, the flare gun, it's alright, but the scorch shot is a direct upgrade of the flare gun. I mean, technically, the detonator is a direct upgrade, just looking at their models, but I, I, I think not. Gas passer. Now, in regular play, I never use a gas passer, but 
when we're playing MVM, the gas passer is a godsend of a weapon. I'm sticking it in, that's the good stuff. They just made Pyro viable in MVM, which is sick. And yeah, just, ah, oh, just, now they did nerf it a bit, but still, it's so much fun to use. So yes, that gets a pog. Well, not a pog, but that gets a good stuff from me. The home wrecker, lovely stuff. Okay, pog tier right there. Yeah, I think the home wrecker's pog. I've said many times that I like to play support pyro, and pybro comes under support pyro. What's a pybro, you ask? Well, it's a pyro that helps out his engineer friends, so you can be Uncle Dean, the pyro main. Yeah, you get to slap sappers, which I think is very cool. Because sometimes the NG died, or he's just, he's just not around, so you gotta you got to take care of his buildings for him. And that's what the home record allows you to do, and I like that. The hot hand. Ho ho ho, the hot hand. Now realistically, not a good weapon. It's the fish of the pyro loadout. But it's so much fun to use, and it's so satisfying to just whoosh, 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 slap up people. So, although it's not a good weapon, it's going in the okay yet yeah, tier. Because it doesn't do a lot of damage. But it's fun to slap people. And if you manage to kill someone with it, you get a slap kill. What's not to love? The lolly chop. That's going back down here with the fire axe. Never use it. Man melter. Hardly use it. I don't rate it, to be honest. The maul. That's just a cool looking home wrecker. The neon annihilator. That goes in okay, yeah. I did. It was my main melee for a time. But I was hardly using it. It's only really useful on 2-4 or maps with a lot of water. For the pyro shark. But... Yeah, I, other than that, I never really used it. It is a cool looking weapon. I do like it though, but I don't think it's gonna, that's the good stuff quite yet. It would have been if I did this like a year ago, but now it's it's fallen down a bit. The Nostromo Knee Palmer. Now, for all intensive purposes, this should be and that's the good stuff. But the thing is, <laughs> it's a reskin of the flamethrower, and I like it more than I like the design of the flamethrower. And I'm a big fan of Alien. So it's going in Pog tier purely because of the design. <laughs> like for, in, it, it is a flamethrower. It's literally just a flamethrower. But the reskin makes it cooler than a flamethrower. So it's going in Pog tier. The panic attack, it's alright. But I do hardly use it. So I can't really give an opinion on it. The flog. Oh, we need to create a new tier just for the... Okay, there we go. Yeah. I think we can all see where this is going. Um, what's this? The postal pummeler? Eh, I never use it, so I can't really give my opinion on it. I don't want to go, eh. Uh, the power jack. Very nice part of the degreaser set, but I don't really rate it. It's decent, it's decent, right? You get this, you get, you, you get to run faster, that's always nice, but I don't really see myself using it outside of MVM. Uh, but it is fun to hit people with the car battery, so that's pretty fun. <laughs> the rain blower. Now this is also a reskinned flamethrower. But I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I hardly use it as it is. I'm not really a fan of Pyroland, if I'm honest. I wish there was an option to disable it while still... Well, you can still see the weapon, but it doesn't turn everything pink and purple, you know? I don't really like that when I'm trying to play TF2. That's why you never see me wearing Pyroland cosmetics, purely for that. What's this? The Reserve Shooter. I got the shooter in the reserve. It's okay. When I'm playing Pyro, I don't really focus on air blasting people up to then whip out the reserve shooter. I'm sure it's a great weapon. I know beforehand it was absolutely, it was an absolute monster. Um, I think it's been nerfed since then. And I, I don't really rate it, to be honest. I don't really rate the reserve shooter. I do like the design though. The design's very nice. And the Scorch Shot, my baby. There we go. Stick that boy in Pog where it deserves to be. You don't know anything more satisfying than say you're playing 2-4 or you're playing some CTF map and the snipers always have their little sniper nest, right? Shooting a Scorch Shot into that nest and just hearing like, two or three people get lit on fire is absolutely amazing and the fact that thing bounces as well it's, it's so much fun I, I do enjoy a good scorch shot you know the sharpened volcano fragment is also a pog weapon what if you're saying otherwise you're wrong you're just pu you're just wrong it's as simple as that the sharpened volcano fragment is an amazing weapon and anyone who says otherwise does not know what they're talking about it's an axe right the axe that looks like that look, that's a cool design it's the coolest TF2 weapon design in my opinion, but my opinion is fact. So it's the coolest TF2 weapon design, along with the sun on a stick. But the sun on a stick looks worse than this. You get to hit people, I don't like this on fire. You're a pyro, it's what you do. It's just really fun, it's fun to use in medieval mode as well, just whacking people, setting them on fire. It's great, it's great stuff. The shotgun, also pog. 
uh, probably the best pyro secondary in the game. Really, it's situational. If you want to set people on fire a lot, you can use a scorch shot. If you don't use the shotgun, you're not losing anything from losing the shotgun. It's great for other pyros. It does a lot of damage. Uh, meat shots with crits is beautiful. I love the shotgun. Uh, the thermal thruster, it's I. It's I. Uh, it, you fly. That's pretty cool. It's good for getting into the sniper nests. Um, it's just fun to use, really. You get to fly about. Get also extinguishes teammates, which is quite nice. Third degree going in never used because I never use it, and it's very situational and it's very hard to use if there is someone being healed by a medic unless you get behind. So that is the official, official TF2 pyro weapon ranking list by yours truly. Also, just want to say um, I do have some TF2 videos coming out. They're in the works. Sorry for just uploading a lot of Pokemon videos. Crown Tundra DLC released on to get out all the videos as soon as I could. I had a lot of fun playing it. And yeah, I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.